Well, um, I put this on the rails. This is my 287. Um, I put it on the rails just to, to see what it was like and get a baseline, and it wouldn't run. And that's a disappointment because I had actually got this engine prepared for what I thought was a sale to someone that wanted it. And, uh, and that didn't work out, which is fine. Um, I put it on the shelf, didn't think much about it, but um, just recently I thought, well, maybe I'll use it for a project. Um, but if you can see, the fingers have been replaced. The drum was removed and cleaned. Um, it has a... Um, rectifier a small rectifier in here for the smart smoke it's not really smart smoke it's just to uh, keep the smoke level constant it, it's a method that I used to do that um, so I don't overdrive and underdrive at any rate uh, so I have my transformer over here then there's neutral there's a direction nothing there's neutral there's a direction Nothing. A little more vibration there. I don't know what that is. More vibration, less, less vibration, more vibration. So the reverse unit is actually what I had was rock solid. Okay. Motor's not working. So I thought, well, I'm going to take it apart. But before I do that, I'm going to set up my camera and see if you guys want to follow along since we are now into a debug stage of why aren't you running little guy and um, what I'm going to do is uh, dissect this thing a little bit at a time and talk it over and maybe we'll all learn something um, I'm going to take this apart so I can move it around a little bit uh, put him somewhere where I can find him maybe just set this aside. I'm going to uh, remove the um, firebox if I can because sometimes wiring in there can get messy. I may as well try to get it out of the way if I can and verify that one of my main motor wires didn't pop off for any reason. I don't know if it would or if it would have had a reason, but it's all possible. It's all possible. You just don't know what can happen when you get in here with these guys. It's a beautiful uh, firebox, and it's wired, and they, oh, it's nice and clean. Look how I clean this up. Look how lovely that is. Okay, um, this is wired to the motor for somewhere in there, uh, so I'm not going to be able to just remove it, which is sad, but okay. So, the linkage, there isn't any. I've borrowed it for somebody else, I'm sure, so I'm going to go ahead and remove the, the engine body and get a little more visibility on everything else in sight here, and maybe we'll just find a loose wire somewhere. I don't know. I really don't know. Don't know. Uh, needs to go forward. There he goes forward. Oh, the headlight popped out. I got it. The headlight was held in with tape. That wasn't so good, was it? Okay. So this is a January '54 engine, and yeah, it's got a little junk in there, but nothing serious. Tape isn't going to hold that light in, is it? Okay. So, let's see, this is the headlight. Oh, and these are held in with plugs. Isn't that interesting? I had to, I must have been on my plug uh, theme there, okay. So, I think what I'm gonna do is straighten this out if I can. Why are you just being contrary here? Okay. Uh, I think, let's see, is there any reason for this to be touching anything? I don't think so. It, the gray comes in here. It's a little loose there. It's not so loose there. This all goes over here. So the power for you know, almost everything comes off the smoke. There we go. Boom. All right. That well, that makes kind of good sense. So the smoke 
is wired what I thought from here and this is toned down to, to just keep the smoke down okay good uh, didn't have a stack it must have come out okay this is here this is here anything in a short that we can see no anything weird on this thing I don't think so gray blue oh I cut this wire to the um, other thing okay all right well let's try it again see if we can see anything probably not but now that we got it all exposed this is how I work on my engines they cannot have their clothes on <laughs> when I work on them because I need to see everything I want to see their belly buttons I want to see everything okay um, there we go now you get in there mr. rolling road all right let's see if we can find anything gosh that reverse is working beautifully absolutely nothing going on here it's running a little backlash it's running fine um, okay um, Okay, we're running AC, so let's get our meter over here. Be right back. Must be over. No, it's right here. I just set it over there. Okay. Let's put it on AC. Let's set it up. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but I need to see it. I'll tell you what it says, if anything. We're on AC right now. I'm going to put AC to the track at a low rate. Now it's engaged, right? We know it's engaged. Um, let's see if we got anything at the motor. Nothing. Anything at the brushes? Nothing. Weird. Oh boy, you're killing me. You're just killing me. Eleven volts coming in. Eleven volts coming in. Ten point five here at this rectifier. Now this rectifier is AC, and that's feeding over here. And this rectifier is. <gasps> we It's that guy. It's that guy. He goes down there. He comes up here.
Well, something feels weird. I'm gonna turn power off for a second. Let's do some continuity testing. Um, I really like this. Um, this thing has a beezer buzzer. So if you have continuity, you'll hear about it. Now this piece connects to this piece and goes right to there. So the continuity is going to be from here to here. And there it is. We got continuity from there to there. But we're in neutral, of course. So let's see, can we change that in some fashion? Let's see. All right, now we're in not in neutral. So we're gonna go continuity from here to here and there to there gray and gray there and there so there's continuity okay so let's see if the black wire goes to in here this bundle this black wire goes down here then that black, black wire continuity okay the green wire comes up here is that right yeah the green wire goes into here comes out down here and there it is it goes over to here there it is it comes over to here there it is comes up to here, there it is, there it is, there it goes back down. So there's continuity in all of the wiring. Um, so I'm thinking I might have fried a brush uh, spring or something. So let's see, let's see. <laughs> it's so funny when that thing goes off, I'm watching it. Okay, let's lay him down nice and easy. I'm gonna get the 10 minute warning. And let's see if anything flies out of here. Nope. Nice big spring. That looks good. Okay. Let's see if anything flies out of here. Nope. Nice big spring. Looks good. Oh, Jesus. I heard it. It just went flying. Oh, man. I hate it when that happens. I just hate it. Oh, God. your composure don't lose it over a spring you know it's a little spring he doesn't mean it sometimes you know they just want to go okay so he is on these are snug I mean these this feels quite good it's good grease nice and smooth action all right well let's take a look at the armature um, commutator face. Let's see if we've got anything in there that looks like contaminated or something. I don't know. It's continuity though. Uh, why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't it operate if it had continuity? Because I know I worked on that doggone thing. Um, that's the tiniest little thing. We just put a little smoke in. I see what it's for. The smoke is more... F I don't think the smoke is for... The yeah, the smoke is for the uh, smoke. Smoke. The buck boost is for the smoke. But, all right, let's see if we can get this out without losing too many things. Okay. Oh, we got a lot of spacers in there. Okay. Now, this is always a trick. It always likes to go flying out and it, it will let it you know to a degree well it's a little messy it's not that bad not that bad 
One of the brushes looks a little short for me anyway. The springs are okay. The brushes don't look bad. Let's check. Now that we got it apart, we can check for uh, resist resistance. Not just continuity, but resistance. Let's see what we have in resistance for the armature. I have had a few armatures going on me lately. I don't know what's going on, but they every once in a while they say, I'm tired of this business. Let's see what he says. Stay there, you monkey. Um, all right, just do your best impression of being stable. 1.4. Uh, that's not bad. Steady. Uh-oh. Let's check this one again. I might have been touching it in a bad way. Let's see. Yeah, 1.3, 1.4. Okay. You stay here. Let's go around now. You'll check this one. 1.3, 1.4. I had my finger on one of the probes, and when you do that, you introduce body stuff, and the body stuff counts, so you don't want to do that. Ah, uh, 3.30, that's too heavy. Ah, uh, 3.30, waterproof, 300, oh, I need some, I need some 1,000 grit, but I don't have it. Well, I do, but I don't want to get up. This is pretty clean, really. Okay, let's look at this brush. It's not bad. There is a little crud. If you look around the sides, there's a little crud around the sides that you could say was restricting its ability to slide in and out. But if we stack these guys up, yeah, they're about the same. I'm going to replace the brushes out of don't know why and what's going on. And besides, I have like bags of them. These are brand new. Well, this one looks like he may have been used at one time, but he's not so bad. Okay. They're quite long, good shape. Is there anything in here that bothers us? I don't see any. I'll get a Q tip. Uh, they're not really Q tips, they're just. Uh, these things, you know, you can clean them with the. Clean them out. That's some gunk in there. There's some gunk in there. Not, not, I mean, I've seen a hell of a lot worse, okay, but look at that. That's carbon from something. Maybe there was a carbon track. I had that in a car, but not so much in a train. Let's pull him out of the way. Oh, there's a lot of carbon around those, you know, hmm. You never know. I'm going to see if I can peel this off, and I can. So you kind of get a second skin there, and I'm going to use this to go down here and see. Eh, it's a little blacky, but it's not the end of the world. All right. All right. That was a little worse than I thought. All right. Let's see. Um, my luck... Uh, stacking these things is pretty poor as you can see these springs hate me I know they do I have brutalized them over the years and they just hate me but I've been pretty good at balancing and stacking these things in well I used to be pretty good at it I was better at it when I was younger there we go see that Every once in a while, even a blind squirrel finds a nut. Okay, that's my father's favorite saying. I don't know why he ever said that. He always said it when I was around. Okay, you get over there. We don't want you touching. That's not count. That doesn't count. Touching does not count. You've got all your shims in, in spot, so you're intact, ready to go. Uh, let's rotate one more time. There we go. Now we got it. There we go. Nice screws. Oh, I really, I built a good engine here. I, I'm going to feel bad messing with it, but 
Nobody wanted a 287. Didn't seem anyway. Now, I didn't do anything I wouldn't do to any other engine ever. And it would just run like stink, okay? Honestly, it would just run real nice. Nice and loose. Lots of power. We have continuity. We've tested everything. All right, let's get this off of here. Get this out of here. One last thing. Oh, I'm going to run this test on. Maybe I can get one more thing. Oh, now. Now see. Creepo. Nothing. There it was. I've had this happen before. I thought it might be because that's one that's hard to see. I'll turn this power off and I'll show you. Um, there, um, the fingers are flippy floppy and loose, right? And it can get bent when you put it together or it, it has barely touching and then it wears and corrodes a little bit and then it's not touching. And it's just like a feather on there. So if it gets corrosion and something as an insulator, but I thought I had pushed on it earlier and it was okay. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on, but let's verify what we think we saw. So I jumped real fast, right? Oh, I know what it is. Let's check. I got some jumper leads, and what I do is I'll bring my AC over from the track right up to this tender chassis. So now I can hold it in my hand and verify uh, what we saw, what we just saw. Okay, turn it back on. It's 110, but it's very low. Look at that. Now it's going to run. All I did was push it a little bit, but we're still not changing. Why is it not changing? Look at that, smoking. You dog, you are a dog. No, wait, there. It, it, you gotta hold your hand right. Now we're cooking. And we're getting reasonable smoke. I don't know what voltage is coming out of here. Well, we could check that voltage. Let's not let that touch the track. We're putting DC to the smoke now, um, so we're going to make sure we use the meter on DC. And oh, I can measure the output right here. Eight volts. Eight volts. Well, eight's not bad, but not a lot of smoke. I'm guessing that's an older piece, so I could raise it. Um, let's see what I can raise it to and, and be okay. My train, right? Uh, 
I went to 8.5, and that gives me a little more smoke. Um, it's not bad, and I'm betting you when I plug this thing in, then maybe that cuts it, cuts the power down a little bit. Uh, let's see if the light was working or not, because I'm not sure it was. I didn't remember seeing it. Oh yeah, the light was working. It probably fell out, and the firebox is lit, so that's a good thing. So our, our auxiliary lighting functions are working, and we do have smoke. We don't have a stack on here. Oh, I love these bags. You know, they just come right out the end. No fuss. <laughs> okay, let's see if this holds up. This holds up. There we go. Now we got we got visible smoke coming out the stack. It's still not, you know, arms and legs. I don't remember what's in there. I don't know what's in there. It could be low on smoke oil too, because I ran the heck out of this. Let me see. Where smoke oil is. I think it's over on the round. Hold on. About out of smoke oil here. I don't know. I mean, I have enough to. I got a little bit. Giving a little pop off. Got a little leak out the side, maybe? I don't know. Looks like you might have a leak out the side. Alright. I'm going to have to refill that, and then I'm going to have to order more smoke. I'm really running out. Alright, let's tighten this up on the side. It looks like there's a slight leak. Oh man, he's tight. Oh yeah, he's tight. Oh, he's not tight. He's stripped. He's tight. He's tight. And he's tight. Okay. Well, let me see. What do you got? Oh, you don't even have it. Yeah. Let's see if I can... Oh, I know. Maybe I can... I'll just angle this, okay? See if I can angle this. Can't. I do this. How can I do this? Um, let's slide it down. Maybe I could. Maybe I can slide it down. Hold on. No, still out of range. How's that? Barely in. Barely in. There you go. Barely in. Oh no! Don't do that. It's barely in, and you can see the smoke coming out now, okay. Um, I can try to slide this back and then bring this back and see. Don't fall on me now. Just come back. Just work with me on this. There you go. There's, you can see, a little more smoke. You can see the smoke. You can see the headlight. You can see the firebox. Um... Something about these things I hate, and this is it. You almost have to give them full power, but maybe I'm taking too much power with my combination over here. Everything on this vintage stuff on here is a power hog. Everything. Boy, that piston, it just it's a real pile driver. Now it's, there it goes. It's just not, it was better, now it's not. See that? Uh, and that's the reason we replace these things with you know what, right? Digital reverse. I got two of my boards right here, you know? Um, it's too late now, but 
I would, that may be the thing I do is put in a digital reverse and a, and a fan and leave the smoke because the smoke looks pretty okay plus the lighting. Uh, and that would help a lot to making this the reliable, provided the um, trucks are working the way they should. If it was skipping around, and I thought it was when I was running it, when I had it up, um, I would switch out these trucks for sure. Okay, well, there it is. We diagnosed it. We had a slightly bent uh, finger. We slightly bent it back, and it's okay. Just a little bit of dirt on it, maybe? Something like that? I don't know. But it's still the flyer fingers reverse baloney. And um, I'm, you know, I'm just not a fan of it. Not a fan of it. Uh, I'll shut this guy off. He's been off and on all day. Yeah, he's not warm. I see him by the clock. I'm 10 minutes late, so I have got to go. But that was kind of fun, huh? We uh, tested things. We went around. We found out what it wasn't. And um, and I did test that with my uh, thing. I probably should use a wood stick next time. Uh, I tested that at once, you know, barely. I must maybe I missed it or maybe it was in the wrong spot. But um, I tested it again and then it took off and then I knew okay, it's got dirty fingers. You dirt, dirty fingers. I know. Okay, well I'm gonna. I think tomorrow when I get back from whatever, I'm going to go ahead and put digital reverse in here. I have it built over there. It's built. Yes. Yes. There it is. I have an entire tender. In fact, maybe I'll just switch it out. Oh, this is, this was a converted, um, knuckle. This is a, the natural knuckle. Ah, I don't know if that matters, but this would be nice. Let's test it with the uh, Northwestern stuff. See if, it, see if it will even think about closing properly and all that. I don't know. I got the other one to work pretty good. Boom, he's down. Mm, he's down. Oh yeah, it'll close. I might need my spacers, but it's gonna, it's gonna close nicely. Okay, maybe I'll just switch, switch tenders. Put the spacers on. Remember these spacers I made? You just put those on there and it gives you a little extra bit of clearance across the top. And um, and this doesn't hang down. Well, if it was black, it wouldn't care. This one's red, but I'll... If it hangs down, I'll paint No, I won't paint it. This is my engine now. I'm not selling it. Okay. This is the uh, output. It's supposed to go... That's for the smoke. It's supposed to go back here. So I got to do a little work on that. Got to hook up the trucks. So this has been assembled but not finished. It's a nice job. Needs cleaning. Okay, that's what I'll do tomorrow. I'll put in um, this tender for this tender. I'll just set this one aside. Um, I'm going to take. Oh, God, I hate ruining these harnesses. Maybe I'll t just take these off. Well, the, the field goes. I'll take these off and just put new. Yeah, I got a new, couple of these new clippy things. I'll put new ones on. I'll put in a DC conversion. Oh, this motor's warm too. Oh, this field's warm. You know, that's one thing I didn't pull them out. Was the fields. One point one, so they're one point one, one point one point one. Okay, so they're okay. The fields, these fields are good. Um, armature's good, so I, you know, but still, it's AC. I don't know. I I don't like I don't like these fields. I like my little motor. I like to put that on there try to find that stuff and put that motor on. I want a DC motor, digital reverse. Um, I'll stick with the um, flyer smoke. Oh, I didn't realize that I started polishing this 
polishing this old smoke. So that's how much I like them. Polish them up, make them look like chrome. Okay, that's it. Gotta go. I'm gonna get it. I know she's been up there doing tax paperwork and I am not helping. Oh, oh God. All right, close it up. That's the show. We started it. Tomorrow we'll finish it. There'll be a part one and a part two. Hope this was useful. Later.